I'm here at City Hall, where hundreds have gathered in celebration of 70 years of the People's Republic of China with a flag raising, and an equal number have come in protest. The event marks the 70th anniversary of the founding of the People's Republic of China, with various ethnic dance performances and the traditional lion dance, with protesters disrupting from the other side. They have all the right they can, they can be here. Same thing with us that we have. Oh, this is the same right that we be here. So as long as they not interfere with each other, I'm okay with that. Emboldened by the recent protests in Hong Kong, the protesters sing songs to drown out the performances and speeches on the other side. The disruptors consist of groups who claim they are being oppressed by the Chinese government. Many of them are staunchly anti-communists. We heard that this flag was being raised. Uh, the city will tell you it's about free speech. It's not about free speech. Um, I represent Super Happy Fun America. We tried to fly our street pride flag up on the city hall flagpoles. That was rejected. The Christian flag was rejected out of almost 300 flags being rejected. They only reject those two. And, uh, they're, but unfortunately, they're flying a symbol of communism, which has killed hundreds of millions of people. So we're also here in solidarity with the people here opposing communism. So everything they do is to subvert, subvert Western democratic society. That's what they're here for. The protesters denounce the Boston City Council for holding the event and demand support from groups oppressed by the Chinese government. As long as the protesters still walk the street in Hong Kong, the fight rages on. For EIV News, I'm Dakota Wagner.